To tell you the truth, I'm not sure what I'm doing sitting here. I was trying to work up a really nice video for you, and I have done nothing but bungle everything. So just stick with me. First thing we're going to get out of the way is leftover from last night's story about my books. Of course, I forgot to show you the uh, um, title of my cookbook. Wouldn't you know it? I can't remember everything. You know what that means, don't you? Okay. The cookbook that I published was called Make Mine the Blue Plate Special. Now, if you'll go down through my list of uh, videos, you're going to find one of the videos that says the Blue Plate Special. It will describe what that is or was. You can read that one, and it gives you the background on why I chose that title. It's just something that has stayed with me from childhood, and I've I've always liked hearing someone say it's like the Blue Plate Special. Okay, we get that out of the way. And let's see where I'm going to go next. I went shopping yesterday. It's been a long time since I've been shopping. I went to uh, Home Goods. I love Home Goods. I knew exactly what I was going for and hoping I would find it, and I did. First of all, well, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, got back into the uh, the chef knives. Now I've got about four of them, but I'm not happy with any of them because they don't cut stuff like I see them cut on the cooking shows. I mean, they just whip, 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 and those knives are sharp as can be. So I said, I'm going to find me a good sharp knife. But I didn't want another uh, chef's knife. You know, that great big, long, I mean, you, you know what I'm like in the kitchen with a knife in my hand. I almost cut off my thumb once, tried to cut off my forefinger again, and I don't, I don't trust myself. So I ended up buying a paring knife. Yeah. I used to use paring knives all the time until I learned how to use a chef's knife. Now I want to go back to the paring knife again. Well, let me tell you this. That little paring knife I bought was so good, I have sliced and diced everything in my refrigerator. I'm prepared for salads. I'm pre prepared for stews and soups. Anything you want to fix, I've already got it chopped up. It's in my refrigerator. So, I recommend mend that little knife. Can't tell you right now what kind it was, but you go to Home Goods, you'll find it. So, my, so far, my fingers are safe. Now, another thing, I used to use a little thing. I call it my moosher because I never could remember immersion blender. That's what, what they're called. Mine died on me. Couldn't, couldn't get it to work at all. So I said, okay, gotta go buy me a new one. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of this new gadget. And you're going to be running out trying to find one for yourself. Got it sitting right here in the box. Going to take it out piece by piece if I can. I can get a good hold on it. All right, I'm gonna set it in the floor, bring it out piece by piece, I think. See if I can slide it out, right out of the box. You just be patient with me, because you're gonna like what I'm gonna show you. And I'm anxious to use it. Okay, got the instruction, but I'm not very good at reading instructions. Let's take some of the plastic off of these things. Put them over here out of the way. And for once in my life, 
I was able to figure out what these parts were, where they go, and how, how you use them. That's a miracle, because I, I usually end up wanting to throw it out the back door because I can't figure out what to do with it. Well, now I had my, <clears throat> my little chopper. You've seen me use my chopper. I had a little trouble with it one day. The little chopper looked like, let's do this. The little chopper looked like this. You know what they look like. Got that blade down inside. There's the little chopper. Now, it, this better work. Because I'm counting on it. Okay. There's your chopper. Let's see if I can get this around here where you can see it. I'll keep at it. I'll get it so you can see it. Right there. That'll do it. Okay. There's my little chopping blade. This little thing. See what it looked like? I just thought, what do you do with that? Okay. You set it down on there. And if you twist it enough, it'll fall in place. But whoop. So... Right in place. Next thing is, and I said, what in the world would you do with this? Oh, I'll figure it out. There it is. Look at there. You can twirl it around. Isn't that cute? What do you do with it? Oh. You know what this is. This is what you whip your egg whites with. And you make your icing for your cake. Kind of strange looking little thing, isn't it? You just set it right down on there. Isn't that cute? Now, let's see what's next. Okay. You this little thing. It looks like something, a toy for a kid. I'll see, what do you do with that? All right, let's try this. Let's see what happens when we put that on there. Twist, and you know what you got? You got a moosher. Immersion blender. That's what it looked just like the old one I had. And that, that's all I had. All I had was this. And that, look what, look what I'm getting here. So, I just turned this Take that off, and I set it right on there. And look at there. That's for storage. Now, you got your electric cord. Now, I just set this down in here, and I turn it a little bit, you know, to get it in place somehow or other. Yeah, okay. There we go. Get the cord out of the way somewhere. Okay. I want you to look at that. See what I've got? I've got three three things in one. Where is it for? A chopper, a whip, my immersion blender, and I'm set for cooking. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to tell you how much it was because it was just nineteen ninety nine, And I know I paid more than that for this little jigger in the middle one time. Now I've got three things I can work with. So I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. Now remember, I got the home goods. So I'm going to set it aside. Set it back down in the box be safer there. Take these two little things off. I'm just going to set them down in the box. They go down in the box. Now, aren't you glad I showed you that? Let's get these papers out of the way. Some of you have been a little bit interested in my Independence Ironstone. 
it was made in Japan. And from what I've read, it was around 1948 to 1968 that these dishes were produced. <clears throat> now, I didn't collect them or start collecting them because I was going to collect them. It was like this. My sister was managing a jewelry gift shop. The owner decided to go out of business and so they had a big sale and going to sell everything. I went to the sale and bought a few trinkets. You know, they have a lot of pretty things in those jewelry gift shops. But, of course, the prettiest thing to have are the diamond rings, and I didn't even look at them. I got a couple of little vases and things, and I uh, saw these dishes. They were odds and ends of dishes. Didn't know anything about them, but they were pretty. I liked them. I bought a few little salad plates. And didn't have any dinner plates. Just salad plate and cups and saucers. That didn't matter. They're pretty. I buy them. They're, you know, they're cheap when everything's on sale. Well, little by little, I would spot things in flea markets and antique shops that matched the dishes. What I didn't know was these dishes came in all different patterns. Now let's start for instance. I'm going to move things aside so I can give you some samples. Get this little plate over here. Got my little frogs on it. See my little frogs? These are cute little things. Aren't they cute? I was in Jan's kitchen one day. These were sitting on the shelf and I looked down and I said, I'm taking these home with me. She just shakes her head when I do that. She doesn't bother her. But anyhow, we're talking about an eight-sided plate. This is the salad plate. This is the white, the dominant color in Independence Ironstone. Probably the very first one that they put out. Here's a, the dinner plate. Now you're going to be amazed at what you can do with these dishes when you're decorating a table. I didn't know this at first. But little by little, I buy a plate here. One time I um, got a whole set of dishes. Oh my gosh. It was fantastic. Now, oh, for instance, you need to see some color. Take a look at this covered vegetable bowl. See this pink? Isn't that pretty? Very pretty shade of pink. And here's the lid that goes with it. You're going to like this. If you like little calico prints and Mary Jane. This is Mary Jane Gavin. See those pretty little flowers around the edge? Well, I've never been able to get a, a good match set of the. I've just got odds and ends. I've got some salad bowls, salad plates, this. But I've never been able to get any dinner plates. And I really wanted these because in the spring and summer, it just sits such a pretty table. For instance, here's the coffee cup. Nice coffee cup, isn't it? Very pretty. Matches this pink. So I wanted you to see that. Okay. Now I don't want to get things all scattered out here. Here's a great big vegetable bowl. I've never used it, but I'm glad I've got it. I might need it someday. I'm going to set my covered vegetable bowl back down in there to save space here. Because it's got a lot of things. And this is just a smidgen 
to what I have. Here's a lid to another vegetable bowl. This is one of my favorite patterns. It's just black and white, but it makes such a pretty, dainty little um, dinner table. I'll set it on top of the salad plate and the dinner plate. Move it over to the side. Get it out of the way. I'm showing the different pieces that you can get with this. And the amazing thing is I cannot tell you how many patterns they come in. In fact, a year ago, I sold three sets, three different patterns because they were not my favorites. I had plenty of them. And one set was sent to Texas. Jan took care of all that for me. She's real good at packing and shipping. And there were, there was a blue and a white set. And I can't remember all of the names of them. I don't even try to. But here are more cups. Of, let's get these cups over here together. See how the handle, you like the handle. And you know what? They're easy to drink out of. You got that little flat side right there. Makes it easy to drink. Let's go on. The reason I'm showing you all these pieces is because I found a brochure, fold out on eBay, and I said, I gotta have that. It shows you the patterns, and this was back probably right after they started making them. Independence Ironstone. It gives you different, well, they look upside down, no matter which way I look at it. Shows you different patterns, different table settings. Oh, I like that. But this is the reason I ordered this. I paid $10 for this little brochure, but it was important. Now, first thing I've got to do is find the glasses, which I forgot to pick up. Can't see anything without them. Let's hope I put them down somewhere that I can pick them up. Would you believe that I put them somewhere? Ah, oh, here they are. Yeah, okay. This is what will interest you. And you can't see it from there, but you can get an idea. I'm going to get it as close to you as I can. Can you see that list? That's how many pieces are in the set of Independence Ironstone. There are 49 different pieces in these dishes. No, and I'm, I'm not sure. I know there are 49 pieces in the white, but I don't know if they continued making all those pieces in the different patterns. But I was just fascinated with the idea of the pieces they had. I'm going to show you just sample. You see this? This is a little Demitasse cup and saucer. Aren't they precious? Isn't that cute? I only had two. I've never been able to find any more. This set has candle holders. Here are the short candle holders. There are tall candle holders that are about this tall. They look just like this, only they're tall. There's your another piece. Ah, oh, I think this is for salt. Yeah, see, this is one piece. I think I found this in a Goodwill down in South Carolina. Now you're gonna love these little things. Let me reach across the table. See if I can get my hands on some more. I have 
have to show you all these pieces. Okay. Now I'm going to have to reach across so many times. I thought... <clears throat> I thought these little dishes were butter pats. This is this matches one pattern and it might be the bittersweet pattern. That was another set that I sold. Here's one. And this definitely is the bittersweet. And here are your white ones. I've got four white ones. I've got six of these and this one extra. Now, I think these are just the cutest things ever was. They're not butter pads. They were ashtrays. Didn't have a little dip in it, but on the list, it named it as an ashtray. Now, I wouldn't take anything to those. They're so cute. Every set has its own salt and pepper shaker. Here's a white one. Here's a lime green. The lime green is my favorite color in all of the independent dishes. So I have four of the lime green and I have two of the white salt and pepper shakers. Mm, this is going to surprise you. Do you remember when they used to have table lighters? You'd go to someone's house and sitting on a little side table next to a chair would be a table lighter. Take a look. Cigarette lighter. This came with a set of independence. Now what's complete? Your dinner bell. Oh my gosh. Who would have dreamed? Here's a creamer. And somewhere is a sugar bowl that matches it in every set. Trying to get the little things out of the way first. Ah, oh, yeah. This. This I just love. I think this is a mayonnaise dish. Can you see what a pretty color green it is? Yes. I only have a few pieces in the green. Wouldn't you know it would be my favorite piece? Now I'm going to go through a few things here. I'm going to go around the table and pick up some things. Okay, let's see if I can get these arranged so I won't knock them off. It's not easy. All right, here's the sugar bowl. Isn't this fun? Gonna make you want to collect Independence Ironstone, isn't it? This is a 14, I think it's a 14 or 15 inch chop plate. You can't find many of these. Now I'm gonna show you on the back. This is the symbol. There's an independent, it just shows a building, and it says Dependence on Stone by Castleton, China, and see if it was made in, made in Japan. Nice plate, very nice plate. 
this is your bread and butter plate. Okay, come on. I just happen to have the green butter dish. Yeah, you don't see many of those. Okay. You see this? And this. And this. These are batter pitchers. They're a set of four. I only had three. I have not been able to find the piece in between. As you can see, I'll move this plate so that we can get a better view of it. All right. Yeah, I want to make sure you can see these. These are just three of them. Batter dip pictures. Didn't know they had such things that in sets of dishes. Not only that, I have a set of canisters. Now they're on a shelf. I've got them on a shelf over here and the shelf is too high for me to reach. I've got a whole row of canisters, batter pitchers, and we're not through. Here's your teapot. This is the teapot. And here is your coffee pot. Isn't that a beauty? And this coffee pot comes with each set of independent dishes. For instance, this one. I've got a complete set. Well, I don't have 49 pieces, but I've got the plate and bowls and teacups and saucers and all that. And here is the coffee pot to this pattern. This is one of the oldest patterns in independence. This is gold and lavender flowers around the edge. At first, I didn't like the pattern. Just didn't care for it. And of course, I had a whole set of them. But as time went by and I started finding other pieces, other patterns, this started growing on me and eventually it became my favorite Independence China pattern. The, uh, the terrine will blow your mind. The terrine is as tall as this. You can see how tall this is. Pretty tall. That's how tall the terrain is. It's about this wide, different. Never seen one like it. I've got two of them. They're sitting on the shelf. Now, in the beginning of this video, I'm hoping it shows up. I did another little video to precede this because it has pictures. It's a group of pictures. And in those pictures is my shelf. And on that shelf, you can spot the large salt and pepper. You can spot the, uh, I've, I've got three of the four canisters. I've never been able to find the fourth one. It's got teapots, whole row of those is on that shelf. 
So if I'm lucky enough that I can put the two together, you take a good look. Go back and take a good look at the preceding little video so you can see the many different pieces I have in Independence Ironstone. Over here is a um, This is just a, happened to be a, an extra bowl I had. Found I think I found it in a Goodwill somewhere for a couple dollars and I thought, well, I really ought to buy it even though I don't have any other pieces in that pattern. I'll just take it anyway. So I'm looking to see if there's anything I've overlooked. Don't think so. But I'm gonna tell you this. When you've got things like this, and this, and this sitting around, always look down inside, because most likely you've hidden a set of keys down inside one. I found some of my um, hearing aid batteries in another one. Someday I'm hoping to find a hundred dollar bill down in one, but I don't think that's likely. So, they do come in handy for hiding things. I'd hate for a burglar to come in and start trying to find my treasures. He'd break his neck, so i say, if he wants to give it a try. So, I'm not sure if there's anything else I haven't covered. Oh, yes. These are precious. I'll be right back. <clears throat> These are small vegetable bowls. Can you see? Is that pretty? See how it's made? Eight sided vegetable bowl. Here's one in another pattern that I, I've got several pieces of this. Well, I've got almost a set, what you would call a, an eight place setting. I gave my granddaughter a couple of years ago, she decided she was taking a liking to Granny Pet's Independence China. And she would like to have some of them. So I gave her an eight place setting of the white dishes and one of the yellow. I, the yellow is doesn't show up in the night light, but it makes the prettiest springtime table when you're using the yellow and the pink and the lime green. Put these pieces together on a table setting and you'll get oohs and ahs, I guarantee it. They make a beautiful table. And everybody seems to be going for these eight-sided dishes anymore. I've always liked them. I'm looking to see if there's anything here I've overlooked. Oh, I think I've covered most of the things. But there's still a few pieces I don't have. But I've got odds and ends of about six colors. And they do take up a lot of storage space. I've got gobs of white cups and saucers. Yeah, they're everywhere. I've got plenty of them. But I love the Mary Jane little pink calico flower pieces. And I don't, I've got salad bowls and salad plates and this and lots of saucers but I don't have any dinner plates, and I really wish I could get my hands on a few. Now, 
I know they're out there. Of course, they, yes, I can find them. But something I've discovered through the years, now I started this in 1980, just by chance, because I went in and bought a few little plates on sale. That's how it all started. And I have to say, it's still my favorite dishes. Partly because I don't know of any other pattern that has 49 individual pieces. That's something to, well, it's something to talk about anyway. Whatever, however you look at it. And to think these are ashtrays. See how tiny that is? Oh, I just think these little pieces are just wonderful. And I would love to have a complete set of the Demitasse cups and saucers. They are just precious. I, I'm always saying this is my favorite, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. Well, you can't just have one favorite, you know that. So for whoever was interested in the eight-sided dishes, look this cute little berry bowl. Isn't that cute? You make a place setting of these. You stack them in a place setting and your guest, your family, whoever is going to think you're a genius. Well, nobody called me a genius yet, but I'm still waiting. So, I hope you've liked these dishes. I don't know if there was anything else I was going to add. Yes, there is one thing. I'm going to show you something. Have I found past my time limit? I've tried to, to uh, 